All right. I first off, I am not one of these tool bags that feels the need to parade around in my flight suit, but I am at work. We just got back from a flight, and I'm trying to multitask here and get the content out. Preeclampsia is pregnancy-induced hypertension that is thought to result from abnormal placental growth or vascular abnormalities between the mom and baby. It typically develops after 20 weeks gestation. Symptoms of preeclampsia will be on every test you take. They are part of a classic triad of hypertension, defined as a blood pressure of greater than 140 over 90, weight gain with edema, and proteinuria. Preeclampsia is not uncommon, and it's definitely a concern. However, the majority of women do just fine with good prenatal care. It becomes a problem when the mother starts to become symptomatic. Examples would be vision changes, muscle twitches, and headaches. These are all symptoms of preeclampsia with severe features that will lead to eclampsia, which is simply when seizures occur in the preeclamptic patient. These changes happen because in the severely preeclamptic patient, her blood pressure is creeping up and the blood vessels in her brain and eyes begin to vasospasm. They clamp down, the intracerebral and intraocular pressure gets humongous, and cerebral edema and seizures can develop, and these can be life-threatening. The medication of choice for eclampsia, even patients who present with preeclampsia with severe features, is going to be mag sulfate. They teach you in school that mag relaxes smooth muscle contraction and that stops the seizure activity. I mean, I guess that's kind of true, but that's not really the right way to describe it. Mag works in various ways, and in some ways that they haven't figured out yet. But while yes, mag is going to relax smooth muscle contraction, it may also have a role in direct suppression of irritable foci in the brain that is causing the seizures. But the big thing that MAG does is that it relaxes and vasodilates those spasmy blood vessels in the eyes and brain. This mitigates cerebral edema, reduces intracranial hypertension, and helps to facilitate good auto-regulation of cerebral blood flow. It will also stabilize the blood-brain barrier. And they aren't totally sure why, but MAG also seems to be neuroprotective for the baby as well. MAG works great, and that's why it's a wonder drug for the patient with pregnancy-induced hypertension complications. Always follow your protocols, but don't wait until it's too late to give the MAG. If they have those severe features of preeclampsia, give them the MAG. It's not going to hurt them. They talk all about how MAG can cause deep tendon reflexes to get reduced and how respiratory depression can occur after MAG. This is usually not a factor when giving MAG emergently to the pregnant patient. This is more of a factor when patients are getting continuous MAG infusions, like once they get admitted to the high-risk OB unit. Also, if you hear someone say that you need to stop the seizure with a benzo before you give the MAG, that is incorrect. Mag sulfate is the anti-seizure medication of choice in the eclamptic patient. You give the mag, you stop the seizure.